Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome back to the 2018 FIFA World Cup DLC for FIFA 18. And today we're doing Peru. Now, I did say that I was going to get this run off of my old laptop, but I still haven't got it yet. I just figured I'd do it again because I may as well because otherwise people are just going to keep spamming it in the comments and um, yeah, uh, I'll never get around to actually getting it off my old laptop so I may as well just do it again. So Peru, best result, quarterfinals in 1970 and 1978, then they haven't featured at a World Cup from that point. Wasn't it like 30 years or something like that or was it a little bit earlier in like 1980s or something and then it was 30 years. I'm not I'm not entirely too sure on that. I haven't got the stats or anything in front of me but then they obviously uh, qualified for 2018 and um, they got knocked out in the group stage which is a bit of a shame because you know having a drought from the World Cup for almost 30 years and then to um, come back to the World Cup and just do very poorly isn't the best obviously but um we're gonna randomize the groups and see how far we can get with peru so in three two one boom and um we are in a group with poland australia and the usa i think that's quite a manageable group for peru definitely with australia and usa i think they are very beatable poland on the other hand might be a little bit of trouble with them all right then let's have a look at the squad for peru and see if i recognize any names there's not many names i actually know from peru again it's another nation that i don't really know too much about in terms of football and stuff like that um, but there are some recognisable names. So we've got Guerrero up front, who was actually on the previous games on with Peru that I've done. I, I have seen his name pop up a few times. Um, we've got Carrillo here. I do recognise that name. Um, other ones I'm not really too sure of, to be at, honest with you. Um, but we've got Farfan here, who um, obviously is a great player for Peru. He's a very fast player. Oh, is that... Pizarro, Claudio Pizarro, surely that, oh that's pretty cool if it is, because yeah, age 39, surely that's him, wow, okay that's an old legend right there you know what, I'm tempted to just put him under reserves there, just to see how well he can do, probably not very well, but see how we get on and of course, we are playing on legendary difficulty on this game because it's one of the best ways to play it our first match then is against the United States. This could be a very interesting match for Peru because both these teams are very well matched up. The USA have got key players and so have uh, Peru as well. It's going to be a tough one. So Peru have not qualified for the 2022 World Cup yet. They've still got to wait for Australia and the UAE to finish their playoff game before... Um, they can play one of those too. And to be honest, um, I think Peru have a really big chance. I mean, if the UAE beat Australia, then I think Peru would beat the UAE. Um, if it was Australia, it'd definitely be a harder game, but I still think that Peru could potentially go through. Here we go. Oh, bit of a mistake just over the bar though. We need to be a bit careful when trying to clear the ball like that. It was a bit of a weak clearance and I don't want weak clearances. To Guerrero, up to Flores, go for the finesse shot, oh I think Howard did save that, yeah he did, here comes Pulisic into the middle and oh they put it wide, that was a good chance for the US to take a 1-0 lead before half time but thankfully they didn't and it's still 0-0 here, I knew that this would be a tough game for Peru, I didn't think it was going to be easy at all, Guerrero on the ball, twisting and turning around the US here, here comes Flores, he has the chance, and he scores, nice one, it's 1-0, and Peru have scored early on in the second half to make it 1-0, what a strike that was, good ball movement as well, and um, even though Peru have kind of been on a little bit on the back foot, they take the lead here. We put on Jefferson Farfan as well, as a substitute, to bring a bit more energy up front, Farfan out on the wing. Turns round, leaves that defender in the dust. That's a great ball. And how did we miss that? That only required a diving header or something. Great play by Peru. Into the middle here. And that's a goal. Nice one. Not picked up by the US. And I think that's Farfan that scores. Yes, it is. Lovely stuff there from the Peruvian striker to make it 2-0 against the USA. And um, yeah, now this team is uh, cooking now. They are really getting into their stride in the first game. And um, when I used Peru in my original run before it got lost, 
they were really good at this sort of stuff, moving the ball around, and they're a very fast team to use as well. So, yeah, I'm very happy with this performance so far. He comes out the door, he's got through somehow, and what a save that was just before... Um, well, the 85th minute, and Tim Howard's up for this one, even though they're 2-0 down. Okay, well, I mean, there's a chance to literally just push it upfield and score. But Tim Howard's coming back to try and tackle. What is he doing, dude? I'm just going to shoot from miles away. Is that going to go in? It is going to go in, and Peru have scored from 60 yards out, and you love to see that. It's Carrillo, and, um, well, Tim Howard was miles off his line, absolutely miles and, um, yeah, they finish it off in style. What a shot that was. I mean, I know it was an open goal, but to get it on target like that is really good. I mean, in those situations when you're behind the halfway line, you don't press the B button, press the X button. And that's it. Peru have won 3-0 over the US. What a performance that was by then. And, um, yeah, it gives me a lot of hope for the next two games. Our second match of this World Cup is against Poland. They are also at the top of this group, and um, this is probably, well, arguably, the toughest match I'm going to have. Of course, Poland are a very decent side, and they got Lewandowski as well, so that's going to be a threat against our defence. Could drop this game, but thankfully we have Australia for our last game. I'm not saying Australia are terrible, but that should be a winnable game. Krakowiak. Lewandowski, oh, we just couldn't tackle him in that whole move and um, like I said at the start, Lewandowski was going to be a threat. He scored to make it 1-0 to Poland. Can Peru get back into this game? How good are they at getting back into games? I mean, they do have goals in them. We saw it against the US, so, you know, watch out Poland. Carrillo. Oh, hang on, what's happening? It's going to be, is that a free kick or a penalty? I think it's a free kick. He went down, but he forced himself down in the box. Very, very um, cheeky uh, method of trying to actually get a pen. Can we actually score this? I don't know how to take free kicks on this version. I'll go for it. I, I will give it a go. Guerrero. Oh, why did that go so high? This is going to take us into half time. 1 0 down just before half time, and um, I can't say I'm too surprised. You know, I did say that Lewandowski would score, and he has. But we just need to be better at ball movement and um, getting forward in this one. Brillo on the ball, into the middle, and oh, he just slide tackled in the box there. Very risky move from Poland, but they still are leading 1-0. Here come Poland, and we knocked into Lewandowski, and that is going to be a penalty, unfortunately. But... You know, we, we weren't very good in this match, to be honest with you. We didn't have many chances, and, um, uh, yeah, Poland were just really good defensively, like I said. Like, they just shut us out, and then they got this penalty now. And um, all we can do, really, is just hope to stop it, because we've already lost this match anyway. Lewandowski scores to make it 2-0 to Poland, and that's going to be it for this match. So, Peru will have to try and win against Australia. And there we go, we lost 2-0 against Poland. Defensive performance, very, very good from Poland. They really did shut us down in that match. So what happened between Australia and United States? Uh, USA won 3-2. Third and final match of the group stage against Australia. Like I said, it should be a win since Australia have lost their last two matches. But you never really know. They might come here and draw against us and then USA might beat Poland and then USA and Poland might qualify and I'll get dumped out. You never know. Dangerous opponent. We can't underestimate Australia. Get off my shirt, dude. Gonna cross that in. Go on, go for the straight or diving header. Nice. And it's 1-0 to Peru. And I think that was Carrillo who scores this one. And, um, yeah, nice diving header. I think that Peru are a decent side against uh, these t types of teams. But if we go up against someone big, then we're going to run into a lot of trouble, I feel. Come Australia into the middle and they go for it just wide. That's what we got to watch out for because Australia could still do some damage against us. Can't tackle them for some reason. I don't know what's going on. And they go for it off the bar. And they go for it again. Good save from the Peruvian keeper to keep them out. Still haven't 
gone past Australia since the first goal. They tightened up, and um, it's just before half time, and it's going to be 1 0, I think, just as we go into the break. Decent game from Peru at the start, and it's starting to get a bit shaky now. We just need to hold on. All we need is just for us to beat Australia or draw against them. Feels like the performance against the USA didn't really matter for Peru because obviously we lost against um, uh, Poland and then we, we're here kind of struggling a fair bit against Australia. Will this work? Crossed in. Go for the header. Oh, why did Australia do that? Did you not? Did you guys see that? Like they headed it towards their own net. I'm fairly sure of it. L was it? I don't know. I mean, it's only showing this replay, but um, the first one, it looked like Australia were about to score a really good own goal. I think that's going to be it. There's only going to be like 20 seconds left. I'm going to head it away here, and that should be it. Yeah, we beat Australia. Only 1-0. Not a very convincing performance, considering Australia had more of the chances, which was kind of surprising. But um, I think we've done what we needed to do. So obviously we beat Australia and uh, Poland beat the US. So that means that Poland and Peru went through. And our reward for getting through is Portugal. So checking out the tournament tree. we got England beating Japan 3-0. Argentina beating Mexico on penalties 5-4. we got obviously Portugal versus Peru. Croatia versus Spain. That happens a lot, Croatia versus Spain, doesn't it? Even if I randomise the groups, it still happens like that. We've got Germany versus uh, Greece. That ended 3-0 to Germany. Belgium beat Denmark 1-0. That's also another fixture that happens a lot uh, on this game. Poland versus Serbia and Uruguay versus Brazil. I'm sure the reason why these fixtures keep happening all the time is because there's only like maybe about 48 teams in the DLC. So of course you're going to get the same matchups constantly. Round of 16 time against Portugal. We kind of fell off a little bit after the USA result. I thought that the USA result was going to be a really, really good sort of foundation for how we were going to go in this World Cup. But it seems like that's not going to be the case. Ronaldo, oh, good save from the Peruvian keeper. I thought Ronaldo was just going to fire it into the top corner. He was denied, and now it's a corner to Portugal. It's crossed in, headed by Ronaldo again over the bar. Comes Bernardo Silva. Ronaldo is in the middle there. I don't know what to do. It's crossed very poorly, and we dealt with it. It's just been really tough to defend against Portugal. They're doing a lot on the ball, and what a save from that shot. Guerrero goes for the strike. Oh, what a save. I thought I caught him off guard, but no. Half time then, and we are currently locked to level against Portugal. I say that's quite impressive, um, but I just want more shots. Not much has happened, really, in this second half. Peru haven't done an awful lot. Portugal haven't done an awful lot. I'm struggling to stay awake, to be honest, in this second half. Carrillo to cross this one back in. Header, ooh. Good save by Patricio again. Oh no, it wasn't a save. It looked like a save, but yeah, no, that was very close from Guerrero. Corner to Portugal, 88th minute. Can we stop them from scoring? It's crossed in. Ronaldo, and it comes back out, and they scored! Oh no! I mean, we were trying, we were really trying to get rid of that, and I think that was, it was Pepe. Pepe scores to make it 1-0 in the 89th minute. I can't say that it wasn't deserved, because honestly, I mean, we struggled in this game to get forward most of the time, and that defending just wasn't very good. I mean, the goalkeeping wasn't great either. And that's it. Peru have been eliminated in the round of 16. Really, really unfortunate for them, because I felt that they were really good in the first group stage game, but it started to fall apart after that. And, um... Yeah, no, if I do find my other Peru run on my old laptop, if I can, like, salvage it or something, then I'll put it up on the channel so you can watch that as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.